Something fishy is afoot in the Arctic. Like there maybe has captured the ties. And he has kidnapped our friends. Only Robocod can help us now. He must rescue the penguins. And defeat Dr. Maybe. SpongeBob Penguin, one of the chocolatiest biscuits in the world. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play James Pond 2, codename Robocod. I'm your friendly neighborhood Let's Player Spider-Moi, and I'm getting into action here, yeah! Okay, maybe they're not so... Uh, not so epic, anyway. Anyway, this is Robocod, and just the thing that I've been telling you in a few videos that I've been doing some kind of a big project, and this is my big project! This is a long game. Surprisingly longer than people would expect. And here's a little preview in a demo of what the game looks like. There's James, no, I mean Robocod, and if you go around in this uh, toy factory place, Arctic Toys name place, as you can see on those uh, uh, labels and flags all over the place. Yeah, so anyway, we'll just go into the game so you can see what it's what it's like. Yeah, it just goes back to the starting screen and you can hear that the music is just a rendition of the Robocop theme because this is a, well, as you can see, a parody of Robocop. But anyway, this is Robocop, this is James Bond and here we go, yay, we're gonna collect a lot of stuff to get points and everything. Yeah, this is one of those kind of um, platforming games that you just collect stuff and get points and all that. Yeah, we're at Arctic Toys and proprietor S. Claus. Hmm, I wonder who that is. Uh, so, a pretty basic kind of a thing that you you jump. I love the knocking sound that he heads make when he hits the ceiling. Uh, you can run. You can use platforms like this to make him run really fast, but he slows down pretty quickly too, depending on how fast you go. Actually, um, he can stretch to unlimited lengths. So if the place is really high, like this uh, Arctic Toys place is, he can go really high. But when he let go, he just uh, goes back down. And he can go inside his suit, and he can jump, and it, that's pretty much it. He gets a lot of stuff inside the levels and everything. And on the left side, you can see James's face. Uh, he's holding up his fingers, that means that how many lives you have. And on his other hand, he's holding up those little plaques, that means how, heni how many hit points you have until you before you die. So let's go to the first level and see what it's like. As you can hear, the music is really funky and really playful-like in this, and it really sticks into your head. This is why I chose, actually, one of the reasons I chose this game is because of the music. I hum the music a lot. It really sticks into your mind and into your head, and you, it doesn't let you go. But this is what James does when you stretch him into the ceiling, he grabs onto it, then you can move along. Move along the ceiling to avoid all those spikes and other kind of death traps. And it just collects the- ah, Ow! Yeah, it doesn't instantly kill you, it just hits you one hit point and everything. And there's all- this is- this is one of those uh, platforms that might, doesn't really make much of sense. As you see, it saw that the backstory of the whole game is that you need to save the penguins. And this is like a Mario stuff, you get all the stuff from here. And this is a, that's a poison. Poison bottle, it gives you points, but it also takes one of your hit points. I'll show you. Ow. Yeah, he says ow, and he, as you, can, as you saw, he loses a hit point, so yeah, be careful about that. Because they can be tricky when you're jumping and getting all this stuff. I, I, I mean, um... Uh, Snakes. What did I have to do with snakes? Well, anyway, uh, what I was telling, uh, well, say that I'm a collector. Uh, I don't mean uh, uh, like uh, I collect stuff in real life. I mean in games such as this. I ca I have to get all the stuff that's on the screen. Like this block, I have to smash it. Uh, it's just, just a snake. You jump on it and kill it. But yeah, I see something on the screen and I'm just I I'm just like, oh man, I just gotta go get that stuff. And yeah, this is a hidden place. This is a secret. I found a one up there, and James is really happy because now he has four lives. An enemy! Made out of candy and cupcakes? Okay. Whatever. Die. 
there we have the penguins, we saved them, and we can get the exit opens. Yeah, that's pretty much what you have to do in every level. Find the penguins, free them, free them and then move along. And there's more of that stuff. Yeah, uh, the when you see on a level there's an onk that you can collect, that's an extra life. Every onk is an extra life, so... I remember some of these uh, levels pretty well, all the hidden stuff, so... Yeah, and there's uh, as you can see, this guy is. I have no idea what that guy is, but he's jumping happily from the spikes. But he's not happy because he's not hitting anything, especially me. And that guy's a hand. If you didn't notice, he's a glove, and his uh, hat is the color of a sleeve. Yeah, this, this yeah, as you can see now, see that he's a hand. Yeah, like I said, this game is weird. And these stars give you hit points, and now you see I have five, which is the max hit points I can have. So whenever you see, whenever you've been hit, and you see one of those stars, grab it, like this. Ow! I got hit, but I got my hit point back. Yeah, so nothing to it. That's much all I can really say about this game. But uh, hey, I want the clock. Like I said, I'm a collector. If I see it, I gotta have it. Uh, but this game is a lot of fun. I used to play this a lot as a kid, and I, and I do mean a lot. It was like one of my most played games in my youth. And this is pretty useless. You don't really have to do this, but just a little, a little something funny. If you get the color TV, you get points, and everything turns black and white. Does it affect uh, anything else in the game? Nope. There's nothing else that it, it doesn't do anything else except turns the colors off. And this is uh, one of the special items you can get in the game, the wings. It helps James fly, and that's all. The only downside is that now he cannot stretch, but he can fly! You just jump jump up all the time to make him fly higher. Let's, get, let's go to the next place. Um, there's nothing much else to say, and I always call these uh, cart birds, I always call them mosquitoes, because they look like mosquitoes, and I hate mosquitoes, so yeah. Just a little, ow! Get out of my way. I wanna get up there. Actually, I... No, let's go this way, actually. Ow! Stupid poison. Just like I said, be careful. <laughs> Collecting stuff because those poisons really are annoyance. A real annoyance. As you can see, I collect them every time. I, I just don't look what I'm collecting sometimes. So, ah, stupid snake, die! Uh, when you kill five enemies in a row, you they always drop an item. And here we have the airplane, one of the items James can use in the game. So, yeah, be sure to find those. All those, uh, all these, uh, Kind of vehicles that you can use and there's also a car that you can use a car and the airplane are pretty much the only vehicles you can use and then there, then there's always the wings but sometimes those wings can be really well hidden and oh, there's the height there's the i want those hit points back thank you yeah 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 <laughs> oh yeah i forgot uh if you collect uh, on all those items that you see on the ground get back in the plane um, if you find an umbrella, or, yeah, an, an umbrella, if you find it, and collect it, the next time James falls from a really high place, he will use the... Oh, need to jump out, boy. Yeah, he will use that umbrella to lower himself safely to the ground. It's weird, but it, it's a safe way to get back to the ground. Get back to the ground without, you know, uh, hurting himself. Although he doesn't hurt himself when he falls from a high, from a high place. I'll actually show you what happens if he falls from a really high place. Oh. Thank you. And then remember those appeared there. But anyway, let's just show you what happens if he falls from a really high place, and then you do this. Bam! If there were enemies on the ground, they would have been hit. I think. I don't remember. And this is the other music you can hear in the game. Dance, James, dance. You don't have a sense of rhythm, do you? 
yeah, anyway, like I said, this, the music in this game is really catchy. And you'll be humming this music if you play this game. You'll be humming this music like a stupid moron. Like all the freaking time. It's that catchy thanks to Richard Joseph, an excellent music... Uh, uh, excellent uh, composer in the Amiga games and everything. If you've ever played the Sensible games, like Sensible Soccer or Cannon Fodder or something like that, yeah, Richard Joseph is the guy behind the music. And sound effects and everything, so yeah. And one of those names that everybody should know if they've ever played these games. Hey! Uh, uh, you're up. Yeah, no, 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 no! Ow! Damn it. Can I get back up there? Excuse me. Mr. Mosquito Man. Uh, there's the platform. Yeah. yeah, they reset themselves. Which is nice, because I want to get up and get it over here. There's lots of stuff to collect. So I hope you everybody's been having a good start of the year and everything. I've been having an okay-ish start, uh, a few problems, but uh, nothing too, nothing too extremely serious, uh, I should say. But uh, it could be better. It could be better. That's that's for sure. But, uh, life goes on and all that stuff. Thank you, clear. Gotta keep the house clean. Yay. Nothing up there, but there's something up there, and we gotta go there. Let's gather all the stuff. I don't need hit points really, but let's just grab it anyway. Oh, yeah, this is just a platformer game that's a really fun. I really recommend people to play this. Although, you can actually watch my videos now of me playing this and failing a lot. <laughs> I'm not the. I used to be really good at this game, but even then, back then, I failed like, like that, a lot. So yeah. But I am going to try and play this through, 100%. As in, uh, gonna try and get, gonna try and play all levels through, not skipping any level, because you can't skip levels in this game, in a way. Uh, how about you stretch up and then jump over? Yeah, how about that? Huh? Yeah, you can do that. Hmm. Stupid. Uh uh, not going to the exit yet because we got this stuff over here. Yay. Ow. I didn't want to take the poison, but. Oh yeah, also the onk up there. You can see and really well see it because of the points, but I saw it. So, yeah. We, we don't really need to get all the stuff for the points, even though there is a high score, but. Uh, like I said, I'm a collector, and if you push down, if you duck and then push the button, you can use the camera to look around on what's down there, or what's below you. And you can also use it to set the camera a little forward of yourself, or backwards of yourself, whichever. Just to see a little forward, but I like to keep it in the center, so I don't get any, su any surprises. Damn you! Mosquito thing, card, bird, whatever. Okay, I'll use now. Okay, how about that? Fine, I will go like this. You can use the enemies to vault yourself into a higher place. Because if you. Once you hit them, and if you push up, which is jump, James will jump higher. He will use them to jump higher. Which is kind of nice. Ow. But once you kill an enemy, you can't use them anymore to boost yourself up, so be careful about that, because there are places where you might need to boost yourself up, and it's the only way to get up to a secret place, so yeah. Ah. As you saw, when you kill five enemies in a row, they leave dangers behind to give you some bonus points and that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, I can't, I can't jump, up, jump up there, but I can get an item, so I can get up there. Which you will, you will be seeing very soon. <gasps> what kind of item could it be? Well, of course it's the wings. And there we go. Now that I've got the wings, I can fly anywhere I want. The wings are pretty much an overpowered item in this because it allows you to get to places you normally don't get to, like this exit here. And we're actually gonna take that exit, even though there is uh, another exit. 
which is the normal way to go, because without the wings you can't get to that one that we saw right there. Because it's actually the secret exit. But without the wings you can't get there, so you have to use the normal way to get out of this place. Which is a little bit longer way to go, because uh, it's all kind of... This place is a little, a little like a maze, so you can get yourself... Uh, there's the normal exit right there. So you can get yourself lost quite easily, actually. But I'm gonna get the bonuses from here. Just for fun. Because get, getting points is ow. Is ow. It's fun. Yeah, bonuses. Uh, getting bonuses is ow. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, so yeah, now I got all I wanted from there. So let's get the secret exit. It should take us to a bonus area. Which you didn't see, actually didn't see in the previous level. There is a bonus area, but I didn't get to it because I took the wrong exit. But here we go. This blasts up, up, upwards, and we push up to get higher. And we get a lot of points from here. I'm gonna try and shoot myself a little higher this time. Boom! Ow! Okay, that was a bad idea. Forgot there were spikes up there. I'm not gonna push up this time because I wanna get up here. I could go up there, which would be actually a good idea because there's a lot of points, but I gotta be really careful on how much I push up because of that. Now, now forget it. Keep your coins, Anonk. I don't need them anyway. And then we are at this level. Ah, I got the candle. Uh, we can choose which way we want to go from. There's a lot of uh, a lot of places here to go, just to get the points and everything. Ah, and they start shooting cannons because there's cannons up ahead. But I took that route because I can. Ow! I'm not gonna kill myself. So they don't go. Mm, that was too close. Gotta be careful here because of these guys. Ugh. Ah man, I jumped at the wrong spot. Oh well, let's get the t-shirts and everything. And hope we don't get hit because I got only one hit point left. There's gonna be a cannon right at Yeah, there was a I knew there was a cannon right there, but I still jumped because I'm a moron. Well, let's get all this stuff over here that we missed last time. Let's get more points! Aha! And yeah, you always start with three three hit points. And why did I jump again? Damn it, I wanted that ring and coin. So yeah, yeah, you always start with three lives, so you have to gather the extra two lives. And I might be hit points from somewhere else. And if it bothers you that the music sometimes skips, that's because uh, the jumping and sound effects all all take uh, part of the soundtrack, so causes some kind of some minor hiccups in the music. That's out of my control. Ow! Almost at the end. Just gotta gonna grab all this. Ow! I hit that nothing. We made it through. We made it through. Yay! And yeah, now you get mystery points because I found the bonus level. So if you find bonus levels, you will get mystery points. If you don't, then you won't get any. And I didn't get any from this because I didn't go to the bonus area at all. And I got an extra life. Yay! Thank you very much. Well, anyway, I'm gonna stop the video here because uh, it's gone a bit long anyway, so... And next time we're gonna... <gasps> the padlock vanishes as we can go into the mystery door. But what could be behind the mystery door? Who's the proprietor as claws? And who is this Dr. Maybe that we have to find and fight? Why did he kidnap all those penguins? All these answers will be answered... All these questions actually will be answered... In the future. In some video. Maybe next one. I don't know. Well, at least we'll find out what's behind the mystery door. In the next video. So I hope you have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, everybody. And I will see you next time on Let's Play James Pond 2, codename Robocon. Dance, James, dance. I will see you later, people. Bye.